What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of a Tech once again. And today I wanted to go through a comparison of the AT2020 versus the Rode Pod mic. The AT2020 is by Audio Technica, and these mics are actually quite a bit different, even though they come in at the same price point. And it's also going to be a little bit subjective on how it sounds to you, as well as kind of the purposes behind the microphones and how you're using them. And that's because both of these microphones are use completely different technologies. So the Pod mic, which we're actually doing this intro on right now as you can see here and we do have a condom on the mic is going to be a dynamic microphone as opposed to the AT2020 which we have right here which is going to be a condenser microphone now what that means for you is going to be a little bit more about positioning than anything else on the AT2020 you're going to have a front and a back but it's still gonna pick up some noise from the back and it will pick up noise from the side and the top. While on the pod mic, you're gonna basically be facing it directly towards your face. So the top of the microphone is gonna be the portion that takes in the audio. It's also very good at canceling noises from outside of that range, right? So let's say you are typically going to be putting your microphone up above you and maybe pointed down this mic might not be the way you want to go. Of course, you might want to go with the AT2020 in that case. So think about your desk setup when you're thinking about purchasing a mic as well, not just audio quality. Audio quality can also be significantly improved with the audio interface. The audio interface that we're using right now is actually a more budget one. It's going to be the Scarlett Solo USB, and you can pick that up for around $120 to $130 and that's also what we're demoing on so you can take a listen here we also have a slight compressor as well as a noise limiter applied in obs but we're going to still be swapping out the microphones and you'll hear both the microphones with those settings so there should be no question between which one's doing what now this has the condom on it right now what i'm going to do is a quick mic test we're going to do some high pitch stuff some low pitch stuff some close stuff and then we'll move over to the at2020 so what's up sons it's blind run this is a mic test i hope you're having a great day today hope that everything is going well and you are enjoying this mic test and it helps you make a good purchasing decision for your streaming setup needs okay so that's how this mic sounds with the condom on we're going to take the condom off and you can take a listen then it is a beautiful microphone and it would be much cooler to run this microphone without the condom on while we're live streaming that being said i think that this helps when you're live streaming because you know you're it's also going to help you keep your mouth further away just a little bit further away from it it's going to stop some of the pops so what's up sons this is blind run and this is a mic test on the Rode pod mic without a condom. I hope you're having a great day and you stop by and this test helps you make a good purchasing decision. Anyways, that's Blind Run and this is the mic test. We're gonna check out the AT2020 now. Okay, so this is the back of the microphone. This is the front of the microphone. And typically when I would use this microphone, I would use it in an upright position like this. You can check my past VODs uh, for an example of how it's used. So this is the AT2020 with the condom on. So here we go. What's up, sons? It's Blind Run. Welcome to the my, 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 my mic test. <laughs> hey, I hope this mic test helps you make a good purchasing decision and helps you figure out what mic you want to use for your live stream but anyways once again it's blind run let's test with the condom off alrighty so what's up sons this is blind run and this is the AT2020 without a condom on I hope this mic test helps you make a good purchasing decision on which microphone you should use for your live stream so there you go there are all the microphone tests I'm gonna plug this one back in because I prefer it for my live stream if you prefer the AT2020 let me know why in the comment section below but one last thing to point out before we get to that what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stop talking and let you listen to the noise
Okay, so that's gonna be what the noise is like when I'm not talking. We're gonna do that test on the road and then we'll wrap this video up. Alrighty, so we're gonna do a background noise test on the Rode pod mic now. And to be fair, we won't put the condom on it. So there you go. There's the comparison between the Rode pod mic and the Audio-Technica AT2020, specifically going through OBS and a Scarlett Solo from Focusrite and for live streaming. Now, of course, for audio production and everything, I'm not an expert in that. This is just what I'm using, my two options, and an interesting comparison and probably should demonstrate the reason why we moved over to the Rode pod mic. Specifically for me, it's the background noise, especially with kiddos and such. This just picks up a lot less. Once again, I hope this video is informative and it's going to help you make a purchasing decision. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscription down below and all that cool stuff. And if you ever want to see me live on Twitch using this beautiful microphone, come over to twitch.tv slash blindrun. Until then, I'll see you next Tuesday.